don't even care about the feds, brother. My mum's like, bro. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from London. And it's about a man that's convicted himself from posting on social media. Abel Bufo, 23, from Lambeth, pled guilty to numerous offences on the 12th of March 2020 and again on the 29th of July this year that include possession of a knife, possession of class A drugs that were MDMA and cocaine and possession of class B drugs, namely cannabis. He was also arrested for possession of criminal property and being concerned in the supply of class A drugs. He'll be sentenced on the 17th of September this year. The court heard that detectives were alerted when a Snapchat video was reported of Abel at a nightclub on Silver Street on the 22nd of September 2019. He was recording himself in a selfie style, walking around with a folded knife in the venue. Police received CCTV from the nightclub on the same evening that corroborated the Snapchat footage. The footage showed Abel dancing and singing while waving the knife around and pointing it at the phone's camera as well as towards people that was in the nightclub. The footage also showed fist bumping people, other people were holding the knife. He's seen several times get the knife out of his pocket and flick it open. At one point he's seen dropping it on the floor before picking it back up on the Snapchat footage. He says that he has a blicky in the rave while holding the knife up to the camera. Blicky is a slang term for a knife. The Snapchat footage of Abel outside the pub. He says, I've got the blicky on me. And his friend nudges him and says, shh, to a And then Abel replies, I don't even care about the feds, bruv. I'm my mum's life. Later the same day, he posted an image on Snapchat looking sad with the caption, lost my shank. Shank is also a slang for a knife as well. On the 11th of February 2020, officers forced entry into his road in Berry Lane Upton and they noticed that the sink was overflowing with a number of plates. Officers noted that there was foaming bubbles coming from them, but there was not your typical bubbles, he said. They was derived from a diluted powder of chemicals, giving the impression that he had flushed away cocaine down the sink. Officers took a sample of the white powder and found it to be a cutting agent for crack cocaine. Officers searched another address linked to Abel on Walworth Road in South London where they found a large bag of cannabis and 903 milligrams of cocaine. So I ain't got a clue what 903 milligrams is. I don't imagine it's a lot. Abel was arrested and taken to a South London police station where he offered no prepared statements and answered no comments to all the questions that were put to him. Even when he was shown the CCTV and Snapchat footage. The detectives examined his phone and found evidence of drug supply as well, going back as long as 2018, as well as evidence saying that he was living a lavish lifestyle that he couldn't afford. He was subsequently charged on the 12th of February 2020 and convicted on the 29th of July this year. So this is a brilliant example of how something as silly as waving a knife around and showing off or whatever he was trying to do has led to the police then discovering hydraulic presses, cannabis, drug possession, drug distribution, money that he shouldn't have had and also going back to 2018 and Rambo knives as well in his property. So a whole heap of other offences were discovered from this one action of self-snitching. The detective in charge of the case said that Abel was arrogant enough to think that he was a above the law and that it was okay to record videos on snapchat and post them without any consequences and every single day i cover stories on the website on social media of children that lose their life to rambo knives and for him to just be waving it around like it's meaningless and it isn't as dangerous as it is is really scary so I really appreciate you joining me for this episode i'll be back again very shortly with some more news please don't forget to follow us online as well at scar city studios and the website at scar studios.com peace